All right, everybody out there in the Craft Chest Nation, it's I Craft Chest here, and today we're going to go all back positive with some positivity going on today. As I was out there saying, you know, I got to do laundry today. What am I going to do? I got to get something done. I need to find out what the, uh, the heck that anomaly was with my car because I was leaving work the other day, and it was probably Murphy just messing with me because I got to leave 30 minutes early, and I got in my car, turned it on like I normally would, uh, let the, everything spool up, and then I went to turn the key forward for the starter to engage. Didn't do anything. And I went and wiggled around, did this, that, and the other, checking relays, because it's very simple in my car. I have 30 amp fuses, and I have relays that are all the same, so I could just move stuff around accordingly. Um, yeah, so that's what I did. I hope I used a coolant fan. I need to kind of watch that, because it actually may be that relay that's bad. I need to get a new relay here. I don't want my car to be running hot. That's even worse than the starter nut turning over. But once I wiggled stuff around and everything, uh, I started working. And today, I was like, I need to do something with my car. Let's go ahead and get that battery installed. So we're going to watch that. I'm going to splice it in here. And you're going to see the battery install. I don't know how choppy it'll be. There was a couple of spots where my probes didn't cooperate and all that. Listen to some music. And I'm going to tell you what, the GoPro does pretty good at medium to 75 percent volume of where i normally listen to it now once i crunk it up to where it was actually beaten you know it kind of it, it's almost like that thing has its own little uh microphone i don't know adjustment auto adjustment for sound uh maybe that's because uh people use it for parachuting and all that to cut out the wind noise i don't know but i noticed that when i went back and listened to it it lowered the volume down on the microphone which is pretty cool so gopros actually have pretty good bass response uh use your headset whenever you want to listen to the music or if you want to listen to the music uh, that i play try to keep everything copyright free if it's not forgive me youtube i tried to find royalty free and i even showed it on the phone and all that good stuff uh for the test and all that and it's no big deal i just changed the battery in my car checking voltage uh, with it idling, with under load, etc., so forth. And one thing that I really didn't go into big detail about, uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to go ahead and get this battery changed out before I did the big three upgrade is that I kind of think that's where my anomaly came from, is that I could tell that this battery that's in there started to kind of strain playing the music. Uh, and today was a perfect example, just sitting there running an idle before I did anything, I did some video footage. I didn't really like it, so I got rid of it. But I put the uh, the voltmeter on it, and it was idling and sitting down in the 11 volt range. And that's no bueno, especially whenever you're just sitting there not doing anything. All right, but when I changed everything out, got my new terminals, everything's copper, sanded down inside where it's nice bare metal onto the copper. All the leads are pretty. They're clean. Uh, it was sitting at idle at about 13.5 to 13.6 constant and under load. I'm talking about a full load running my Punch 150 at 1 ohm on those two Sundown Audio LCS 12s. It never dropped below uh, one or 13.2. If it did, it's probably because the probes were bad. Usually it went from 13.5, 13.6 down to 13.3, which is amazing to me being that I'm pushing that amplifier and that system uh, at a one ohm load like I am. Now, I didn't have the volume cranked all the way up. All right, I had about half volume to about a little bit over half. Uh, I think mine goes up to like 35 and I was playing it at like 25, 26 max. Normally, whenever I'm running down the road, it's like 23 and 21 thereabouts. So listening to music, listening to talk shows, whatever. If I'm feeling frisky, I'll crank that stuff up and just kind of use my ear to where I don't overdrive and clip uh, the subwoofers and the amp. So there you go. So let me get all this other material spliced in here. Folks, it's time for us to step back. All right, step back to ourselves. All right, and I have a video. I'm kind of, I don't know if I want to post it or not, but I came up with a solution to all of our problems as far as police brutality is concerned. I don't know if I'm going to post it. All right, maybe you've seen it before right now, but... It's a solution. I got it. All right, but stay tuned. We're going to get into some car audio stuff. It's a craft of the mind. Woo, here we go. Everybody out there in the Craft Chest Nation, it's I Craft Chest here, and today 
We've been doing some modifications out here in Project Defiant. Most notably, we have the excess power battery installed into the car. Now, there weren't a whole lot of things I had to do because my cable is right here coming in, and this is temporary. All right, we do have the big three upgrade as I showed you in the last video with the unboxing of this battery. And of course, you know, I say I had to do my own little thing here. I was very impressed as the, to the fact that the uh, OE strap, the uh, anchor strap, actually screwed down with this battery. We were about an inch longer, but the same as far as wide here. And all I had to do was shift from top post here to top post here and just tuck these wires back in here and still have a zip tied uh, to where it's clean and safe on this as far as the fuse block going to the amp. All right. Now, in the future, we will be changing this amp out because I'm not even supposed to be running this amp at this own load. Um, I have these Sundown Dual Voice Coil LCS 12s uh, wired down to one ohm on this, and this is uh, technically not a one ohm uh, amplifier, but it's been kicking it for quite some time now with very little, if any, issues whatsoever, other than getting hot. I gotta keep the AC running to keep it nice and cool, but here is the install. Um, never mind these wires. If you, let's take these wires out actually and let you just see. Uh, it's pretty clean right now. Have everything prepped, ready to go. I do have an anchor point that we're gonna be going through as far as the uh, zero gauge on the negative through this, because there's nothing under here but the frame does run over there and I did underneath find an anchor point on this side and on this side. So like if I wanna keep heat off of it, I need to go this way because we do have the exhaust, uh, the new exhaust, but the new exhaust system, my goodness, it runs so cool. I mean, on the other one, I wouldn't be able to hold my hand up like that. It just gets hot. So there we go. But I wanna actually uh, do a test on this now that we have the battery installed. And I want to put the voltmeter on here and actually play some music, uh, real volume, how I would normally listen to it. My voltage is holding pretty good, 13 and a half, you know, between 13 and a half to 4.2 normally is what your uh, alternator is going to kick out. Once you put a load on it, it'll kick in. This battery here should be able to sustain uh, plenty of voltage to the amplifier and the entire system. Huge upgrade on this one. And this is the battery we actually are replacing, which is the Max Start, the Everstart, Max Everstart, 650 cold cranking amps. This is the OEM replacement battery for that car. And technically there's nothing wrong with this battery. Um, I'm gonna actually put it on a trickle charger, bring it all the way up very slowly on a low, slow trickle charge and get it to where it needs to be. Uh, this one actually isn't, I don't see any details as far as amp hours and all that other good shit like that. And it's just 650 cold cranking amps on this battery. Uh, no, nah, it's not really any details on this battery here like it is over here on this one. Uh, once again, this one has max amps 3300, cold amps is 1150, and the amp hours on this battery is 80 amp hours. Excess power D3400. Uh, which is a hoss and a very good investment so far. I did do a test run. I didn't like the way the video went, so we're doing this one from scratch uh, just to go run, you know, hey, run it through his trial. So let's go up here and pick out some music. And I'm actually going to close this down uh, here so we can get inside and actually listen to some music. I don't want to bother the neighbors too much uh, as far as all this is concerned. So we're actually going to close up in the car and yeah there's a lot of cleaning up i have a lot of stuff tore down lunch stuff over here and what have you and whatnot it's okay it's okay but normally i'm going to listen to music at normal volume 21 to 23 is what i'd normally listen to it so let's start this up i already have it loaded and when i'm driving along this is the 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 volume i would choose right here plays through we'll back it up and then let it play again with the car closed i'll go back here and check the voltage while it's hitting we're actually going to be modifying this right here right up in here and i'm going to be putting me a couple of speakers and a voltmeter 
in this plate right here. I gotta, I'm gonna build a new plate, do it the same way, and bring all this out flush to the edge. This right here, all temporary, but still, when I do things that are temporary, I like to have them permanent temporary. Does that make sense? Replacements. So let's bump this up a little bit. 23 is where I would hit it again. If I'm feeling frisky. And if I really want to kick it in, take it up to 26. Let's see what that does. Rip microphone on the GoPro. Let's leave it on 23 and let's come back here and let's look at this voltage. Voltmeter probably like on the ground now, I've shook loose. I don't know, it's still there. What is that? And that's me moving this thing around, making it do that. So. Forgive me, everyone. My probes don't want to cooperate. Why? 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 There we go. Let's go back that up. Let's kick it in to 26 and see what it does. Here we go. All right, we're gonna hit this with, this is if I'm feeling really frisky right here. Let's hold this right here. Got a slight little bottom out on that so that thing is really really flexing there but that's neither here nor there i got replacements we got like six of these things <laughs> and that's not all because i'm probably gonna get some more of them i don't even know if that was this or the box that was flexing out like that probably the, it probably is a subwoofer I need a remote, don't I? But yeah, here we go. We got the new excess power battery, D3400, group 34 battery. You know what that actually sounds like? That 
that sounds like I'm leaking air. That's what that's acting like. Like this side, this is an open box, but it's almost like I'm leaking air over here. That's exactly what that sounds like. Maybe from over there where the wires are coming out, it might, the silicone might not have sealed it properly. That's sure probably what it is too, now that I think about it. Now this thing's all over the place. There we go. Why is that all over the place? That shouldn't be like that. Oh, there we go. My probe wasn't, wasn't anchored down properly. So we're holding steady, 13.5, I mean, right there. It ain't even trying to dip. All right. There we go. New battery installed, a little music test right there. Not too loud. That's not even pushing it where I normally would on a song that I would or whatever. But so far, so good. I'm impressed. It's a craft of the mind. Everybody go out there and have some fun. Woo! Let's drive up the road and test everything out. seed stove. new battery. Good. 
gonna do just a regular everyday drive test right here. Got the GoPro. Gonna go get some liquor. Cause you know, the apocalypse got me drinking too much. Test out the new battery. Royalty free, copyright free, should be good on this music. Come on, baby, give us a bass. I'm gonna be where I'm gonna have to be. amazing with just a battery upgrade $339 free shipping down for sound.com is where I got it you can get it from multiple places they shipped it directly from excess power and out of Knoxville so I guess I might have been out of this particular one and they redirected it to the Knoxville uh, home that's headquarters for excess power so but check this out one more time and this is usually 26 is usually the max that I listen to music 25 26 but even boosted up to 28 Dude, that is strong. All right, let's turn this off.
and that battery wasn't even trying to move I've been testing it all day long as far as um, seeing where the voltage is gonna start dipping and not one time all day long have I run into any issues with voltage dipping past 13.3 with uh, everything off maybe just lights on and whatever because everything's automatic in the car um, 13.5 to 13.8 um, is where the voltmeter 13.5 13.6 on average but whenever kicking in something like this and we'll get a better idea once I get a voltmeter hooked up to here to get a constant reading but it seems like just this battery is going to be enough for now. And I'm looking up in the mirror because maybe you can see me in the mirror. I don't know. Uh, we have one on order. I have that, the top post terminal with the OEM sidekick on it, which is going to be awesome. The big three upgrade inside. Plus, if I need to, I'll go ahead and buy another big three upgrade. It's actually cheaper to get the big three upgrade than it is to buy the raw wire itself. Plus once i got this in i'm very impressed on the flexibility and the quality um, and most of all these accessories and pieces of parts that i've been getting here lately have been from downforsound.com uh, you know jp he doesn't need enough plug-in i mean he, he doesn't get enough and he does his own shameless self-promoting which is the way you do it baby shameless so i've said it for years shameless self-promoting is how to be successful obviously and so here we go that should be enough for this battery to top itself off and i'm gonna go inside i got some chicken defrosting got some hamburgers defrosting i think i'm actually either gonna cook all this inside tonight uh maybe some barbecue chicken in the oven i'm not gonna light the grill and then uh do some electric skillet hamburgers Woo! it's crafted in mind everybody go out there and have some fun we're gonna go inside it's about four o'clock in the afternoon as you can see right here and we're gonna chill the rest of the day i'm done I mean, if I do anything, it's going to be to take this plate. I actually was thinking about taking this plate off and going ahead and seeing what I need to do with my Dremel. Maybe I can use my Dremel and cut this out and get this prepped up to see exactly how much room we need in here. As a matter of fact, we'll do that. Y'all want to do that right now? Let's do that right now. Show y'all how to disassemble a, uh, a car. Let's see. Uh, I need a screwdriver, but I don't have one, so I have this. And I don't really need to do anything other than, I don't even need that. Just pop that out. And let's see, pop this out. Or is it this? I need to pop this down first, don't I? Yeah, pop that down. Pop this out. Pop this out. There it goes. And then this pops out. And that's it. And this, actually, I'm going to have to re-glue it because if I take this all the way out of here... Uh oh, I don't want to break that. There we go. Take my pins out, and I'll take this in and play with it. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh, I just. Uh, there we go. And it seems very violent. It seems very violent, but it's really not. And I, I got a new light rope I want to put on here anyway. We're going to redo and restore the Defiant to her former glory. I mean, all in all, if you look inside of here, compared to a lot of cobalts that uh, people have in the day, back in the day, I think leaving that layer of dirt and dust through the years actually protected this dashboard, plus not sitting out in direct sunlight, and uh, it won't be that hard to do. But I'm going to take this inside, and we're going to cut this off right here. And as you can see right here, this we will recut this to where we are little bit more edged out here we're going to be putting those uh sundown audio i don't know two and three quarter i think it is here and here for center field uh have an idea for my pillars in this area here or down this way I, i'm not really sure and these are actually air vents and i was kind of curious as to if i could as you can see this one popped out i was kind of curious and am still curious as if I can take this, I've been watching a lot of Sprayway Customs, a lot of his material, and I think that I can actually 
do something with this and make it both functional steel and what this is is the defroster for the windows that's exactly what this is this is the defroster for the windows but i'm kind of thinking that i can have that i'm gonna have to see how this works here but picture this picture if i had a standoff like this all right and i have a tweeter back there but still route it with a cup because there are tweeter cups to where uh, you can route the air around it and steal through here because of the pressure fiberglass around but have this still functioning and i don't know people this may be a crazy idea it may have to be a tall standoff like this and have the tweeters pointing out here or here you see do you feel me though y'all see what i'm where i'm going with this and it may be a pretty tall standoff but i think that's actually not a bad thing um to think about right there or i could do the pillars as far as putting stuff up here uh should be able to find some of these at the junkyard maybe possibly and not even have to fool with this and grab some from the junkyard and make some fiberglass pods and maybe put a set maybe two or three uh tweeters here i have an idea of what i want to do down in here as far as uh bringing the six and a halves here here and here going with maybe three of those now back in the day i think i said this in another video back in the day i had a five and a quarter and two six and a halves but i think i'm just going to go straight across here with uh six and a halves and maybe have one of them and i know this sounds crazy people go oh don't do that but have one of them coax uh to where it's like a two-way three-way to pick up some of the highs down low but have all three of them be six and a half all right i don't know kind of thinking about that and that'll take care of the front field center field and uh the tweets coming out here and i don't want it to be overpowering so probably going to keep this part of it here and the rear field uh below 200 watts and then overall the entire system i want it to be roughly i'd say all together 2500 to 3000 watts total uh, which at the end of the day, of course, yes, I'll probably have to get either another battery uh, and an alternator, big three upgrade, all that. But it's pieces, parts, pieces, parts. And I'm kind of actually thinking about instead of going a lot as far as quantity on 12-inch uh, subwoofers to going with 218s. I'm kind of leaning towards 218s and then get me a, a, a beefy monoblock uh, 3K to kind of run those maybe a 5k i don't know and then dial it back uh, i don't know we're gonna see because i don't want a wall i don't want to wall this off i want it to either point up point back uh, but there's a lot of ideas a lot of things that i have drawn out on paint and uh what have you as far as that goes but there we go so that gives you a little idea a little in depth a little sound uh a little sound check there for this and i'm actually gonna pop this back in in case i don't bring this back because I may actually leave it like this until I do something with this. So I need to kind of sand this down a little bit, get this cleaned up. It's not nasty. But I want to get this cut out here. Right across here, but not uh, compromise the actual pin. So I need to be careful and go here. Which I believe that in itself, this right here, from there, up, is going to make one heck of a, uh, a good presentation as far as a couple of speakers. And then across the bottom here, this part right here, all the way across, the reason why I want to recut it, flush mount it, I'm going to have a row of toggle switches to control, uh, you know, sub amps, uh, uh, center channel amps, you know, rear, blah, 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 blah. Y'all get this. A row of toggle switches, control the lights, and then a voltmeter uh, somewhere here in the middle. Hopefully there's enough room. Or put the voltmeter here, two toggle switch, two toggle switch. And I think that'll be... Uh, mighty fine itself because I should only need four toggle switches and wish list being uh, maybe a couple of more for lights such as trim under the dash under the seats all that good stuff the way we used to have it I had all that over here in the center console before where I had toggle switches here um, yeah and that's it it's a crap to the mind everybody go out there and have some fun I'm about to go inside and chill Woo! have a good day and be careful everybody and love each other. Come on, man. It's time to love each other. All right, everybody out there in the Craft Chest Nation. It's our Craft Chest here, and today we're going to go back, 
positive. As I have to sneeze right now. <coughs> oh, I got the COVID sneeze. Boom.